right, next up, the bar brawl. Oh, the bar the brawl. Nuts, yeah. If we had a separate list of the all-time boneheaded moves, this would probably be on there. But. Yep, here you go. <laughs> this is a crazy moment, man. So uh, Seahawk safety Ken Hamlin, solid player out of the University of Arkansas. So in 2004, he finishes third on the team with tackles with 79 and a career high of four interceptions. And then came 2005, and the Seahawks, they're rolling, man. After a blowout victory over the Texans on October 16th, 2005 in week six, Hamlin decides, you know what? It's time to celebrate, man. Time to celebrate this victory and let's have some drinks. So him and his girl decide to head out to Larry's nightclub in Pioneer Square. And dude, as much as I love the bars, there's been so many moments where, you know, just people are acting stupid. Right. And if you, you got have, liquor in people, you got alpha males who don't handle their liquor well. I mean, it's just, it's the perfect recipe for something stupid to happen. Absolutely. And Hamlin, I guess he placed a hand on some other guy's shoulder, which is that right there can, yeah, yeah. It could trigger someone. <laughs> and he's like, hey, excuse me. He's probably trying to get by or something like that, you know? And, and I guess the guy told Hamlin to stop pushing him. Could have been one of those times where he like puts his hand on his shoulder and like someone pushes him from behind and like, so, right. you know. So, of course, one thing leads to another. They start pushing each other. And and according to the report, Hamlin then punched the guy in the face, prompting another guy to knock Hamlin down to the ground. And then witnesses told police that someone else hit Hamlin a couple times with a street sign. So Hamlin's sitting there. He's in, like, critical condition. And then he's rushed to the hospital. He has a fractured skull, a, a small blood clot, bruising of the brain. And uh, that guy never played another down of football in Seattle again. So, God, it's crazy. Yeah, fun time. But the crazy thing about that story is that the assailant was mysteriously found dead a couple days later. How is this not like Keith Morrison in a dateline all over this? This sounds fascinating, and I want to hear that guy narrate the whole thing. Exactly. So that's and a- And then he was found dead. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so weird, right? It's kind of spooky, but yeah. It's not nice. a happy story, but definitely uh, definitely a crazy ending and fits in a crazy moment to Seahawks history, that's for sure. Absolutely. And just to let everybody know, Ken Hamlin actually made a full recovery and ended up playing for the Cowboys for a couple of years uh, before retiring. Okay, dummy. Before this game, you was just a plain dummy. But after the night, you'd be a broke dummy. Dummy.